Hello there, today I'm going to show you how to slice up STL files for easier printing or printing on smaller printers without sacrificing size. So the first thing we need to do is go ahead and grab Mesh Mixer. We can do that by simply searching Mesh Mixer and then head to MeshMixer.com. It's an Autodesk software. They make a bunch of things, Fusion 360, AutoCAD, a bunch of stuff. Then we're going to download it. You probably want Windows 3.5. Um, Windows 3.3 is probably fine, but I don't see why you wouldn't go with Windows 3.5. Um, I'm sure they have other versions somewhere, but we're going to go with Windows 3.5 for right now. Then, after we have it downloaded, we're going to double click on it to open it up. And it's going to open up. And I'm going to make it full screen. Then I have this uh, STL file called Caesar.stl. It's a Julius Caesar pencil holder that I found amusing. So it's going to generate the mesh, and it usually doesn't take this long. Okay, so now you'll see it's too big for my Monoprice Select Mini. So what we can do to slice this in half is a few things. However, the one that I'm going to show you is Plane Cut. And we click on that, and then we get this plane here. And we can see that it is going to delete everything that is below this plane or if we click this here, everything that is above the plane. And it's quite simple. You can also see that this does actually have pencil slots in the back. I find that amusing. You might not. I don't know. Somebody just click accept and then it's going to slice it and now we print this and then we hit control Z then that should bring back, bring back the plane. Then we just click this here or you know, the better thing to do, control Z, would just be to hit this arrow, and then there's that. So now, that's pretty simple, but let's say you have a print that you have multiple parts to in the STL, but you can't fit all the parts on your bed at once. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Okay, so I have this um, thing that I found on Onshape when I was first learning it. Um, and it's a light switch cover that I found amusing. Um, this goes in here and you slide it up and down and it's like a like dynamite thing, plunger. So to delete this part, for example, we click select, we double click on this and we hit delete on our keyboard or there's probably something over here. And now we just have this part on its own and then we hit export and print it and it's all good. It's a very simple software to use and it's the same thing for the other way around. And that's going to ask us to do this. So it's very simple to use, it's very easy to learn, and there are plenty of guides for other stuff, and this can be used for much more than what I've showed you just now. So, thank you for watching this video, I will see you all next time. Goodbye!